Okay. All right. So that. Okay. So the audio is working now. Okay. So let's let's go ahead and uh, go through this. Let's get this thing smaller here. Oh, whoops. Uh, what's the uh, what's the um. What's the passcode again? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why that's not going away, but it's not a big deal. So, um, all right, so let's uh, go. Okay, so we're here. And then we can put in the title. Okay, and let's go to where you uh, get your ads from. Okay, so copy, you can copy that that you have there. Mm hmm. And go back to, um, uh, the, the ad. And put, paste it inside of the description here. Paste it, yep. Um, and then go down through here. And fill out whatever you've, looks like just the email address again. Yep, yeah, if you, if you don't, um, here, I'll show you it so that you don't have to go back up there for the future. It, since it, <clears throat> what's happening here is it, you're, it's like, it's remembering who you are. So you, you type this in and see how it ha see how it has your address associated with it. If you if you just went to a text file, and like kind of like we we're discussing, and just had your email there, then you could just type. Um, Then you could just paste it into here, and then you don't. Then then you'd be. Uh, then you don't have to pick one of these drop downs. And then it won't fill out auto fill out that information above. It's just uh, it's trying to help you out, but in this case we don't really want it want its help. Um. So uh, so we can go down. Nope. Correct. Let's just go down and make sure it's there. So it's there. So now we can go place ad. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Yep. Play sad now.
and then we'll be going back go to your email Yep. So that so that that has the tracking code and as you can see the image, right? Yeah. So that was that right there was the easy way to do it when it works properly, correct? Yeah. So do you want to go through the other way? Um So it could be something with, uh, um, if we go over here, this is why I, I had done the other, um, uh, this is why I had shown you how to do the other way also, which is based on, um, on using both of these. So if, if, if this, if this other way fails well let's go through and I'll show you how to do it this particular way That, that there isn't right yeah this is your account right yep so this they've already given you your ID this is your ID right here this is your ID that's specific to you and that and all this is saying right here is link to this specific thing that they have in their system yep so the only thing that that is making this come from you is this affiliate ID equals and then all the way to the four that is your ID and that's why you'll notice that on every single one of these that number is exactly the same Are they because this is the this is the image yeah they you, in, you need the tracking one too yeah yeah because this is just the this is the uh this is the image this is the um cl this is the oh you know what wait a second here no, no, we no, we got it. We we're, we're doing it correctly. This um because you could see up here, see see when you have a full one, you can see that they've got the source, which is the image, which is banner URL. That's this right here. See where it says image? And then it says source. Well, that's this banner URL right here. And then you've got this href, and href is what surrounds anything that you want to be a link. That's where they have this tracking URL. And they put it in here, and then, and then you've got this here. Um, so the way that <clears throat> we do this, if it's not working properly you go there and it your ad doesn't show up right
we take this link oh yeah it, uh you got a virus on here on your this computer yeah yes because it's telling me to search soft tonic which that's not correct not when I just post paste uh, something in here see it's it's trying to track your your what you're doing it's uh, trying to like key log what you're doing which could be not good yeah safe search powered by soft tonic it's, yeah we don't we, we don't want that but so when I had pasted it in here it automatically tried to make me do it that way um, let's see if it's something easy here Oh, uh, because it's added on your computer. Package tracer. See this? Have you? Do you use something like that? Yeah. See, soft tonic. We don't want that. package tracer I don't I don't think that's something that looks like a malware of some sort to me they attach themselves to programs that you download oftentimes now 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 you see when we post in here we don't get that soft tonic garbage right you notice that we also don't have that search bar here that was uh, sitting there yeah it's gone uh, you go to tools extensions most most of the time what it will do it is it will download an extension there are other ones that will put themselves on your computer but this doesn't seem to be the case yeah go into your actual computer this happens to just be on your was just on your browser which was an easy enough thing to remove okay so so going back to this here um, so now so now we've got this um, CPA aftrack images right here right that is correct yep and then see what it did is it gave us this dot PNG that's correct yes yep so theoretically yeah so and it's it's just uh, so it's putting this in here here's your image this is this is the you know what it is and so then what you can do is you can um, you can uh, you can do a right click and you can save as So if we go over to um, this documents and we put it under oh uh, 
banner ads, right? So now we can go uh liked it there we go. Now we can save it, right? As a PNG. And then we can go um to notepad here. Well, first we're going to go ahead and um, open. We'll open a one that we've that I've already made for you. And then we then we'll uh, we'll go. And re remember, the only reason that we save that image is is only because if we need to upload it. So this is kind of where it's a little bit confusing. We can we can go back over to here and um, copy this. and see between the quotations and the start of the H we can paste that in there and then we go back to our CPA we grab this And so, in theory, all that we're doing is this same exact thing that's up here that says HTML, but we're adding a .png from to it because for some reason maybe it didn't show up. So we need to get the hard file of it. So that's what we're doing when we actually go over here. And then, and so then we go back here. And we get um, inside of this. So, Yeah, so inside of the href equals and then same thing starting with the h and you've always got to make sure that you've got quotes around your link and around your source. See there's double quotes around each one of those. And now what we can do is we'll go file save as don't want to save it because <clears throat> you don't want to overwrite your second tracking code. So we go back over to and we'll name this tracking code 3. And then if we if we were to go back to this we could now use this code to paste into that description. Now that now that we've got the actual source of the image in there 
maybe it wasn't showing up. This is now the direct link to get it, so. So that's that that's the longer way of doing it, but is gonna is the kind of backup. And so, did, is there one that you had an issue with yesterday that uh, you want to look at? You probably need to log in, right? Oh. Uh. Okay. 